What's up, everybody? I'm Blair. And I'm Tim. And we're with thekingsbay.com, bringing you another how-to video. Before we get into this video today, if you've been liking our content and following along, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really makes a difference for us. And as always, make sure you check out our website at thekingsbay.com. So Tim, tell us what you're gonna do today. Today, uh, we're gonna do just a pretty easy sample putting in of a Victorian style twist bell. They're not electric. Put them on the door, people come up to the door and spin it and it rings. It sounds, they sound fantastic. Very popular item. Cool, and so we have this old door Tim's gonna use. I'm gonna jump behind the camera and make sure this looks good. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're gonna be installing a Victorian twist bell. We want it to go kind of right in the center of the door here. So, but to make sure it gets there, we want to measure it correctly first. Let's see, we'll go from here to here, which is 16. So we're gonna need eight inches. Seven, eight. You also want to center it this way. This way, six and a half, which would be three and a quarter. Okay, we've got our spot. Okay, now we're going to drill the hole for the twist bell. Uh, this side is a little bit bigger, so you can't just drill a little tiny hole through the middle. We're using a three quarter inch speed bore bit so that it goes around nicely on the other side and fits nice and flush. So I'll drill away. And just as a Kind of a hint the way I do things is if you drill it all the way through the wood can kind of break out on the back side so I'll go about three quarters half of the way through and there'll be a hole on the other side and so I'm going to drill in from the other side to make it nice and smooth of course we want to put the outside turn piece on the outside of the door not on the inside now, to make it a little bit easier, we'll I like to line this up and um, I like to mark each one of these holes and then pre-drill just a little bit with a small drill bit. That way, when we put our screws in, they go in nice and easy and nice and flush. Okay, the screws we have here are about three quarters of an inch long. We don't want to go all the way in. Otherwise, you just won't get the grip that you want. You probably just want to get it started about a quarter of an inch or so, and then these will these will flow right in very easily. So let me do some drilling. Okay, let's screw it into place. Okay, our twist bells are set up with really long spindles. In case you had a really very, very, very thick door, you could probably go up to maybe two inch even more. These are set up for inch and three eighths or less. So we've taken this and I've put it up against the door. And we'll try to connect it here and slide it together. And that is just a tiny bit short. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off maybe an eighth of an inch on the end with a hacksaw, just zip right through it, and then we'll be set to go. There's one, and we'll put the others in. Also, you also notice that these are straight slot screws. A lot of people use Phillips head. Phillips head is really not an antique function. So when we do ours, we do the old style. As you can see, a straight slot screw. Also, if you don't pre-drill it, these are solid brass. They could snap right off. 
And you're actually supposed to, if you do it right, each one should line horizontally. Okay, now we have this one lined up perfectly on the door. So what we want to do is mark the spots for drilling. And then we'll pre-drill these two to make it easy to screw in. Okay, flush up against the door. Now let's see how it rings. Okay, our bronze bell is installed. Actually, we also do sell them in a solid polished brass. This bronze one's installed. And just like at the turn of the century, ring and have your friends come on in. Just like it says, Turn and ring. The Kingsbay.com.